to the first question the journal has posed to you, and that is indeed to describe your own path, uh, how your own path brought you into epidemiology, how, yeah. f how you went from medicine in, in general to epidemiology in particular. So might you give us some sense of that? Yeah, as a medical student I was drawn into uh, research in a private hospital setting and foundation engaged in cardiologic research. And I got this strong impression that something is fundamentally wrong in this research. Mm -hmm. That these researchers, medical people from professor on down, mm -hmm. while they were concerned with statistics suitably entered into their papers, mm -hmm. they had no interest in what these statistics are and what they mean and so on. There was just a way of entering them into your paper like the other papers that you read something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the <laughs> it hasn't changed. <laughs> <laughs> and the statisticians would be in an other institute okay. and they would get the data and produce these statistics to be somehow worked into your article. I thought that this divorce between the substance and the statistics was just inappropriate, wholly inappropriate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so Either I leave academic medicine, mm -hmm. which is what I was headed for, or I become a student of these very things. And after some consternation and contemplation, I elected to set out to try to learn theory of medical research, notably applied medical research. Mm -hmm. What other terms did you bring into epidemiology, or is the list too long? Uh, I'm afraid that the latter is the uh, okay. correct answer, yeah. but we are here, for instance, talking about comparisons, uh, index category, reference category in the causal contrast, to be sure, is one of these, but... Uh, Effect modification, is that yours? Uh, well, confounding is not a novelty of mine, but it was novelty to epidemiology when I introduced it. Of course, I drew it from Fisher as yeah. a term. Yeah. But in uh, around 1970, still, in epidemiology, there was utter confusion between those two topics of confounding and modification and I, uh, in response to whatever other piece was topical at the time, I made that distinction between uh, modification and confounding. And those terms, of course, have stuck. But I say again that the confounding is not an innovation of mine. It was established by Fisher. <laughs>